Yeah, Amanda Dabila has been charged in the death of six-year-old Fajar Williams. She's been charged with second-degree manslaughter. Last night, we spoke exclusively with the parents of Williams. They are devastated. They cannot stop thinking about how much the little girl probably suffered while fighting for her life. For these type of bus companies that are servicing children as handicapped, Children in general. They need to know that when they take that job, they have lives in their hand. The pain is consuming Wally Williams and his wife, Nashma Nash. They are in mourning for the death of their six-year-old daughter, Fajar Williams, who left to an extended school year program at Claremont Elementary in Franklin Township on Monday and never came back home. The most important thing is we want justice for Fajar. Somerset County Prosecutor's Office confirming that 27-year-old Amanda Davila has been arrested and charged in relationship to the death of the little girl. Avila, hired by Montag Transit Service, was the school bus monitor assigned. She secured Fajar's wheelchair to the bus. There is video that I have yet to view, but I will. The investigation revealed that while on the road, a series of bumps caused a six-year-old to slump in her wheelchair seat, making the four-point harness, which secured her to the chair, to become tight around her neck, ultimately blocking her airway. I'm picturing her fighting. She can't speak. She can't defend herself. She cannot take the thing off her neck. According to authorities, during the ride, the school bus monitor, Amanda Davila, was seated towards the front of the bus and was utilizing a cell phone while wearing earbud headphone devices in both ears. I pray that these people wasn't up there lollygagging, playing and joking on their phones while my daughter is back there fighting for her life. The investigation revealed that this was in violation of policies and procedures. I called my talk and immediately they told me they have no information for me. And Montauk Transit Service, right behind me here in New Brunswick, we have contacted them multiple times, but they have not responded to our request. Davila is expected to be back in court on Tuesday. I'm Elias Hermarco. Back to you.